So, I want to send get well wishes out to Cousin Penny, first and foremost, trying to schedule the contractor, which is a nightmare, and hopefully tomorrow, before work, I can try and get that done, but we've been trying to go back and forth playing ping pong to get this all scheduled, and it's hard to do. Let me tell you, folks, if you've never tried to do it, it is hard to do, and that's all I'm going to say on that. We're going to move on now to this first magazine. We're going to do all of these points of light tonight. I'm going to try and hit a little bit of the book, but uh, stay with me. Let's see how much I get done. Like I said, I did work today. I work tomorrow. I'm a little moody, but we're going to get through it. Okay. I did like the idea of twinkling pumpkins. It says she always finds a way to dress up the entryway with fun, festive flair, petty bit on tonky of the first executive editor. The latest idea is no carved jack-o'-lanterns. To make each, I glued together the bases of two standing wooden pumpkin cutouts. Then I picked up at the dollar store. Then I simply painted the jack orange and popped a battery foot run tea light in the center, which is kind of cute. Look at those. I thought, isn't that a neat idea? Donna, get your finger off of it. Yeah, it's a neat idea. Okay, so we're moving on. Look at this little girl, so cute. With intellectual curiosity, the world will always be filled with magic and wonder. Marjorie Pay Hinckley. Adorable. Okay, spooky cute kitchen helpers. You can find these, even cute simple tacks, taking out a casserole of the oven can make feel fun if you have festive tools on your hands, says Melissa Deante, the first senior editor. That's why she snapped up adorable potholder set. They are easy grip and add a hit of happy to my counter. The DII Jack Pot Holders are $13 at Amazon.com. Okay. Yes, there's going to be a friend's cookbook. One of my favorite friend's moments is the iconic turkey feast episode, shares Maggie Dillard, first assistant editor. So I knew I'd find a recipe to love in the friend's official cookbook, packed with more than 100 treats inspired by the sitcom from Monica's Thanksgiving feast to the trifle made by Rachel, played by Jennifer Aniston. Friends fans will adore this yummy homage to their beloved show. Moving on. Life is like riding a bicycle. To keep your balance, you must keep moving. Albert Einstein. Ah, doo -doo. I did think this was interesting. It says this is a show how to... A binder clip attached to a notebook keeps your pencil nearby. That is kind of a neat idea. Um, we're going to skip that. Share. You can pick up the book and read its great moments. There are some great moments in here. Okay, this is some recipes for apples because this is about apple season out there right now um, it's easy apple treats you can do caramel apples mini apple cobbler as well as mini a or apple cinnamon rolls and no bake apple pies to do this app caramel apple I'll give you the recipe right there I don't even have to read these because I can just do this and show you it and it'll work out grand. Just hit pause so you all can take a look at the mini apple cobbler. And then the caramel apple recipe one more time because I went a little quick. Now we're going to turn the page. The apple cinnamon rolls and the no-bake apple pie. Okay, moving on. Okay. 
Now we're going to do delight with an E cheek spread. Making it magical. Making a glowing gourd. A candle kiss gourd adds gorgeous ambience to your tableau. To do, cut off the top of a small gourd. Use a spoon to hollow out the big hole enough for, to, for a tea light candle. Use the channel knife to carve swirl shapes all around the gourd as shown. To finish, pop a tea light into the hole. For secret source. For easy sketching, try the Pro Touch Channel Knife for $8 at themessiermeister.com. Toast to festive fun with your jack o' lantern sips. Spark smiles with happy faced spritzers. To do, for each snip, two eyes and a mouth out of black removable adhesive vinyl available at the craft store. Remove backing and press onto the glass. For a citrus sip, add three ounce of a Aperol and a Processo and one ounce of orange soda to the glass stir. And for a kid-friendly sip, just fill with soda. And they are adorable. I'll show you this gourd first. And we're going to move to the sippers next. And on the other side, it says, sweeten the day with candy corn pudding cups. These festive candy corn pudding parfaits serve as a dessert and table decor. To do, you mix up two 3.4 boxes of vanilla instant pudding, according to the box instruction, divide into two bowls. Tint one yellow and one orange with food coloring. Spoon one fourth cup of yellow, then orange pudding into the five ounce plastic cup, serve with whipped cream and sprinkles, and makes about eight servings. You can scare up smiles, smiles with a bewitching buffet. The key is to create a Halloween spread, the spooky and cute, combining an array of ghoulish accents and sweet treats in a classic candy corn color pate. And here's how a low-profile white tabletop is topped with a faux cop web, adorable treat-filled mummy mug, and a tray of candles spilling out the mouth for a party store mummy decoration, stacking milk crates behind the tableau and topping with each pail of candy, skewered treats with feathers and festive fun. To The wow-worthy touch is a tent transformed into a mummy. To do, set a canvas tent over the crates behind the table. Hang a party store garland from on the front of the tent, then glue on the jumbo googly eyes. Collect compliments with a set seasonal centerpiece. Popping fresh picked autumn blooms into the cozy wet felt Base beautiful any surface for pennies. To do, snip a small handful of gold and red crinthosome to 8 inch and add water filled rocks glass. Then fill in the gaps with color foliage and berry snippets. Wrap the glass to cut the felt piece of felt and secure with twine. Here's sweeten the day, scare up the smiles, and collect the compliments. Okay. Oh, smart home solutions. You guys are always looking for quick tips that save time and money. These are the solutions right here. A clever way to hang any lightweight picture frame. The new frame that you grabbed at the thrift store will look great hanging in your living room, but it's missing a hook. To the rescue, a soda can tab. Simply snap off the tab and use super glue to attach it to the back of the frame. Once it dries, completely hang on the frame as normal, and the tab is the perfect size for the nail head and will support the, the, fra the weight of in any light frame. Uh, handy clips for snacks. Next time you're running low on your chip clip holder, create your own by using wine corks. To use a knife cut carefully into a one inch deep slit in the bottom of the wine cork, repeat for about as many clips as desired, then fold the top of your snack bag over a few times, slide the open end of the cork out on the top, and problem solved. Uh, SOS for chip tile. Yikes, you have a spot of surface of chip 
on your ceramic floor, but you don't want to hassle over the cost of replacing it. Instead, try this fix. Find an inexpensive bottle of nail polish that matches the tile's color. Apply to the chip spot with a cotton swab and let dry. Repeat as needed. The color polish will easily mask the chip and protect the tile from further cracking. So here's the first one about the picture frame. And then the blue is the chip thing. And then the SOS is on the side. Okay. Ah, oh, this one's good. Life made easy. Ten brilliant uses for paper clips, which is amazing because I use paper clips for about everything. You can add pizzazz at a home manicure. Give your nails some extra flair by the DIY manicure with the help of a paper clip. To do, after painting your nails a solid color and letting them dry, dip the tip of an unfolded paper clip into a different color of the polish, then use it to dab on dots lines or make other designs. The clip's thin tip will make it a creative, professional looking result a cinch. Number two, if you're missing a bread tie. If you discover you accidentally tossed out the bread tie after ma making your sandwich, use a paper clip. Simply twist that bag closed, then slide the paper clip over the plastic where you would normally use the tie. The clip will seal the bag tight so your bread stays soft and fresh. Free up your needed closet space. Now this one I thought was interesting. A lot, even after cleaning out a lot of your items in your closet, things are still a bit crowded. To free up space, enlist the help of paper clips. Simply insert a hanger through the outer loop of the paper clip, then slip a second hanger through the clip's inner loop. This creates a double hanger and that will increase your closet space. Plus, it's a great way to keep your outfits together for easy access. Decorate a cake like a pro. Creating small details or writing on the cake with icing can be tricky. To ensure a neat design, reach for a paper clip. Open a clean clip and use the tip to etch your message into the frosting. This will leave you just enough control to space your letters out right, and when you're happy with your work, you can trace over the outline with colored frosting. Extend the life of a toothpaste. Get out every last bit of toothpaste. Save money plus a trip to the grocery store. Try this simple trick. Slide a paper clip over the bottom end of the tube and gently push it toward the tube's opening. The force of the sliding of the clip will push all the remaining paste to the top of the tube. Quickly mask car scratchings. Eek, you notice the door ding and your car paint? Fix. Dip the tip of the straight end paper clip into the matching touch up paint. Apply it to the center of the blemish and the paint will spread as camouflage with the damage. There's one through six. Here's one, two, and three, four, five, and six. Moving forward, we've got seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Safely display precious photos. You want to add some family photos and other fun items to your kitchen? A cork pour? Don't want to poke holes in your keepsake? The solution? Secure a few paper clips to the board with push pins. Then slide your photos or other paper items into each clip. The clips will make it easy to swap out your mementos while ensuring they all stay safe from damage. Number eight. Easily remove the pit from an olive. Your Greek salad is always a hit, but getting the pits out of the olives can be a hassle. The mess-free trick. Unfold a clean paper clip, into, paper clip into the form of an S shape. Insert the clip's smaller end into the olive and jiggle it around, loosen the pit, then gently pull it out. The pit will come out easily with the tiny clip hook, quote unquote. Hold a zipper in place all day. Just as you're about to dash out of the house, run some errands, you realize the zipper on your jeans won't stay up. You don't have any time to change into different pants. That fast fix, slip a large paper clip through the hole of the zipper pull up and the other loop around the end of the button of your jeans. The clip will hold the zipper up in a mean time so you don't have to worry about a major fashion oops until you get back home later. 
lift dirt from a keyboard. I found that interesting. Although you're careful not to snack over your laptop, dirt crumbs and other debris seem to get lodged in your keyboard. To remove the grime, unfold a paper clip, wrap tissue around the end, and sweep it through the bottom keys. The narrow clip will fit into all the small crevices so you can dislodge the gunk with ease. There's seven. Eight. Nine and 10. Moving forward. We're moving through this one really quick now that we got started. Ah, the horoscopes. I spoke too soon. This is for September 24th through October 19th. If you are a Libra, that means your birthday falls between September 23 and October 22nd. It may be hard for you to see eye to eye with a friend or a loved one on October 1st. A heart to heart can clear the air from October 2nd on. Venus is in your 12th house of spirituality inspires you to get creative with your mind body routine. Trying a sound bath or some easy yoga poses could be re revitalizing. Are you an Aquarius? January 20th through February 18th. Connect with your dearest and nearest from October 2nd on. Wearing your heart on your sleeve can deepen your bond. Then create a work proposal while your communicator Mercury is in retrograde in your 10th house on your career on October 14th. Your energy is sure to impress. Are you a Gemini? May 21st through June 20th. Lean on friends or colleagues for advice when the full moon falls in your 11th house on networking come October 1. The shared compassion feels rewarding. Then from October 14th on, add more room for your health-loving self-care to your routine. You'll glow from the inside out. Are you a Scorpio? October 23rd through June 21st. Collaboration with your co-workers happens naturally, naturally from October 2nd on. Trading innovative ideas can set you up for success. Then reflect on your goals while Mercury is in your retrograde in your sign on October 14th. If you want your perfect game plan for hitting them, now is the time. How about a Pisces, February 19th through March 20th? You may feel stressed if the to-dos on your plate don't reflect the values that drive you around. October 1, when the full moon is in your second house of income, in turn, you may seek out new inspiring sources of cash flow. Then brushing up on your wellness related skills can make for a motivating experience. And if you're a Cancer, share that's June 21st through July 22nd. Share about a passion with friends while Mercury moves through your fifth house on self-expression from September 27th on. Your conversations could lead to a new project. On October 1st, you may be called on to take more responsibility at work. Your higher-ups will take notice. Are you a Sagittarius? November 22nd through December 21st? Feeling overworked can lead to a rebellious on October 1st. Making time for a pleasurable activity serves you well. Then you change up your money-making strategy when Pluto moves forward in your second house of income after October 4th. This could lead to more recognition and rewards. Aries, March 21st through April 19th. Around October 1st, you may be feeling like you've been putting your needs to the side in your care for others. Prioritizing self-care can feel especially gratifying come October 2nd. Trade notes with friends about your favorite health routines. This can boost your commitment to them. Are you a Leo? July 23rd through August 22nd. Spend more time connecting with loved ones while Mercury moves through your fourth house of income or a life around September 27th. It can feel restorative to your bonds. From October 2nd on, work with your colleagues on a new investment proposal. Welcoming feedback proves helpful. Are you a Capricorn? December 22nd through January 19th. Face family drama head-on around October 1st when the full moon is in your fourth house of li home life. An honest conversation leads to healing. From October 14th on, revisit a project with colleagues. Focusing on working toward a common goal makes your productive experience. Are you a Taurus? That's April 20th through May 20th. 
You may be feeling emotional come October 1st. Solo time spent caring, your, caring for your mind and body. Think using a meditation app. Can also feeling self feeling centered. Then from October 14th on, revisiting a beloved family recipe or telling childhood stories with a dear friend bolsters bonds all around. Are you a Virgo? That's August 23rd through September 22nd. You're seeking out pleasurable experiences with loved ones come even more naturally from October 2nd on. You'll be ra radiating from the inside out around October 14th. You may have to deal with a few glitches or mis miscommunications on the job. Deep breaths. This too shall pass. So there's the first half. And there's the second half. Last paper clip. Oh, the last laugh. Best Halloween ever. It shows this little boy laying in his candy. And uh, we got uh, Bette Miller saying, I think that Halloween is scared of me. Halloween is realizing Christmas is in 54 days. Bette Midler. Uh, we got the irony that you won't let me even eat a hot dog is not lost on me. The photo submitted by Rachel Misko of New Jersey. That's life. The Halloween treats we plan to make. The Halloween treats we have time to make. Amen. Amen. And I'll show you these pictures in a minute. Man's best friend. I was talking to my nephew about what he was going to be for Halloween this year. I asked what he, him... I asked him what he dressed up as last year, and he answered, I was that brown dog from Scooby-Doo. I can't remember his name. Eliza Porter from Dallas. And I'll show you the pictures. Okay. And that is your October... 19th 2020 issue probably out now at your stands because it I got it just the other day in the mail and it's got some very good points of light that I did not cover it's worth picking up pick up this magazine I've got a woman's world magazine to review with you but not tonight oh no we're going to do a book review next <laughs>